Hey guys and welcome to our coverage of the SVM algorithm, a very important concept concerning machine learning. In this video we will be learning about what SVM is, why is it required and what it is used for. Here's Utsav Agarwal, our instructor, to let you know more about the same. I would like to introduce myself. So guys, my name is Utsav and I am currently working as senior data scientist in Oracle and I have previously worked with Samsung and apart from it I have worked I am working on my YouTube YouTube channel uh, where I teach uh, data science and machine learning. Yeah. So what is support vector machines? Support vector machine is a supervised machine learning algorithm, just like I told you, right? Which can be used for both classification or regression, but mostly it is used for classification. And in this, we plot each data item as a point in n dimensional space. So what do I mean by that is just imagine like you have some features as x y z let's say you have two features x and y and then if you plot that x and y in a two dimensional plane that would be a and here n will be two so it would be a two dimensional space where you are plotting those points all right so this is once we have the points plotted on a 2d plane then we will try to like find a best fit in svm how do we do it let we'll get to in a while but in this just uh, for now just uh, imagine like we have some data and we have a SVM algorithm and we are going to understand how SVM algorithm works. So how it works is let's say we have two, uh, two classes of data. We have green dots here. Let's say these are, uh, cucumbers and the blue dots here are the peaches. All right. Or peers, whatever. So, uh, let's say we have we have two two, two features here uh, we have in this in this two dimensional space i can only represent one feature right because on the y y axis i will be have, having the prediction right so so just imagine here we have a two a one uh, we have one feature of fruits that is the color and i want to separate use based on that feature if i plot this on a two dimensional plane the data you can just imagine that there are three things uh, primarily in the SVM where we have in the middle, if you see, it is the maximum margin hyperplane. What is the maximum margin hyperplane? Uh, you can see that this line divides this blue and green dots, right? But you will see that this particular line in the middle is dividing this both the classes in very, you can see that space is high, right? But if you take the line left of this middle axis it will you will see that it is more inclined towards the green one and there is a big space between the uh, blue right similarly we have on the right hand side which is called the positive hyperplane so basically the whole purpose of the svm is to maximize this maximize the margin of this middle hyperplane and that is the whole goal and we will understand how this thing works.